okay if we look on to the next intermediate the first condition is planarity and this molecule is not planar at all because there are two atoms which are sp3 hybridized if you look at the, these two lower two atoms these two are sp2 hybridized and if these two are sp uh, these two are sp3 hybridized and if these th two are sp3 hybridized there is no question of aromaticity or anti aromaticity because they are not planar at all if you look on to the next intermediate the next intermediate again will be anti aromatic it will be anti aromatic because again there are two carbon atoms which is sp3 hybridized you know, you know when whenever a uh, sp3 hybridized carbon will come in a ring that will that will restrict the cyclic movement of pi electron because that carbon does not possesses a pure p orbital in which the electronic density can go in and come out so that's why a sp3 carbon there's no resonance across a sp3 carbon atom sp3 carbon atom restricts the cyclic movement of pi electron so whenever you have a sp3 carbon atom appearing inside the ring immediately that molecule will be non planar because of sp3 hybridization and there will be no cyclic uninterrupted delocalization so that molecule can neither be aromatic nor anti aromatic that molecule has to be non aromatic if we look in the next structure the next structure possesses all the atoms as sp to hybridize because all the atom is involved in making a pi bond since this is sp all the atoms are sp2 hybridized so the molecule is planar if the molecule is planar then it we can see about aromaticity or anti aromaticity there are four in pi electrons there are two pi bonds and each pi bond has two electrons to so all together there are four electrons so it has four in amount of electrons where n is equal to 1 so it in it satisfies the condition of anti aromaticity so this this intermediate will be anti aromatic now if you look under the next molecule the next molecule uh, the first thing that we have to see is planarity the next thing we have to see is the number of pi electrons so uh, if you if you go for planarity then um, indeed this intermediate is planar because all the atoms are sp2 hybridized because either they are may having a pi bond or they are having a negative charge and now because that negative charge is involved in resonance will not count that negative charge for hybridization so that upper two atoms are having negative charge or they, they both are having sp2 hybridization the lower two carbon atom is making pi bond again they are both are sp2 hybridized so all the carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized so the molecule is planar and the number of pi electron is 6 uh, uh, because uh, the pi bond has two electron and there are two negative charge and each negative charge has two electron so all together it makes it to 6 electron so it follows Huckel uh, rule where n is equal to 1 so 4n plus 2 when we put n is equal to 1 in 4n plus 2 that will come out as 6 and it is having 6 pi electrons so this this intermediate this molecule this the structure which has been shown here is a uh, aromatic structure if we come down to the next one again this is aromatic because again the th first thing that you have to see is planarity all the atoms are sp2 hybridized so the molecule is planar since the molecule is planar then we can move on to see the number of pi electrons there are two pi electron there's only one pi bond and that one pi bond will have two pi electrons and again it follows Huckel rule when we put zero in 4n plus 2 4n plus 2 will give us two and hence Huckel rule is satisfied in this molecule when we come down to the next molecule the next molecule uh, the first thing that we have to see is planarity whether all the atoms are sp2 hybridized or not here the all the atoms are not sp2 hybridized because one of the atom one of the atom is sp3 hybridized because this atom is neither making any pi bond or having any negative charge or any positive charge this is having making two sig two sigma bonds has been shown and the other two sigma bonds is is with hydrogen which hasn't been shown here but that carbon atom is making four sigma bonds so that carbon atom is sp3 hybridized the problem with sp3 hybridized carbon atoms are they do not have any p orbitals in which the electrons can move in and come out so resonance is restricted across that sp3 hybridized carbon atom so because of the presence of this sp3 hybridized carbon atom this molecule is not planar and if it is not planar it cannot be aromatic or anti aromatic straight away that is non aromatic now we have done sufficient practice now what you should do is you should pause this video and you should solve for rest of the molecules 
you should identify whether they are aromatic or non aromatic or anti aromatic and i'm writing the answer and i'll quickly explain this and you just match up whether you got the correct answer or not all right i suppose you have solved your answers and here i have presented answer for you we'll quickly discuss and we'll quickly see uh, uh, regarding each molecules in which category do they lie regarding this regarding um, the next intermediate the next intermediate is aromatic it is aromatic because the first thing is the, the, the all the atoms are sp3 sp2 hybridized and the next thing is it follows huckel rule straightforward the next intermediate now this is anti aromatic this is anti aromatic because the first thing the plan the condition of planarity is fulfilled because all the atoms are sp2 hybridized but when you look at the number of pi electrons you find that there are only four pi electrons they are only four pi electrons because they have two pi bonds each pi bond has two electrons the positive charge does not have any electrons so the molecule altogether has 4n pi electron and if it has 4n pi electron then it is anti aromatic the next molecule is the is, is benzene next molecule is benzene and benzene happens to be aromatic because all the atoms are sp2 hybridized and it ha follows huckel rule because it has six pi electrons from those three pi bonds the next molecule is toluene now toluene has a methyl group over benzene now these this branching on benzene will have no effect on aromaticity aromaticity is a ring phenomena as far as we have cyclic uninterrupted cyclic uninterrupted delocalization of pi electrons and follows huckel rule molecule is aromatic no matter whatever you have outside the ring so this methyl group outside the benzene ring has nothing to do with aromaticity benzene is aromatic toluene has a similar structure like benzene so toluene is also aromatic because inside the ring we have cyclic uninterrupted complete delocalization of pi electrons and the ring also has 4n plus 2 pi electrons that means it satisfies his huckel rule the next structure is pyridine now pyridine is is a important intermediate is a important compound and we must know the name of this structure this molecule this is pyridine now the question is whether pyridine is aromatic or anti aromatic the first the first ex, uh, impression of students are generally that pyridine is anti aromatic and the explanation they provide is pyridine has 8 pi electrons i can cite three pi bonds and one lone pair although that lone pair wasn't shown and that lone pair will never be shown but we have to know that when nitrogen make three bonds it has a lone pair so nitrogen possesses a lone pair so two electrons comes from that lone pair and six electrons comes from three pi bonds so it 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 adds up to 8 and if it adds up to 8 then it has a form of 4n where n is 2 and when it has a form of 4n it is supposed to be anti aromatic but the problem is that lone pair is not going to go is is not involved in resonance now this is the orbital diagram of pyridine there are three pi bonds in the ring and there's a nitrogen atom now the lone pair of nitrogen atom is in this orbital and this orbital is on a perpendicular plane it is in the plane of the molecule and the rest of the p orbitals are perpendicular to the plane of the molecule so this this p orbital th this this hybridized orbital containing these two lone pairs are in a perpendicular plane than the plane of the rest of the p orbitals rest of the p orbitals are parallel to each other so there will be a cyclic uninterrupted complete delocalization like this so electrons will be moving from one orbital to another and the ring will enjoy aromaticity this this lone pair is not involved in resonance because the orbitals are perpendicular this this orbital containing this lone pair is in a perpendicular plane than rest of the p orbitals so this lone pair cannot go into other p orbitals for resonance as we have seen when the orbitals are perpendicular there is no electronic transition so this lone pair cannot participate in resonance because the nitrogen atom is sp2 hybridized in sp2 hybridized we have trigonal planar geometry and this is the trigonal planar geometry the two bond and the orbital containing that lone pair will be in a plane and the p orbital will be perpendicular to that plane and there will be aromaticity there will be cyclic uninterrupted delocalization of electrons like this but this lone pair is not counted for resonance because this lone pair is in a perpendicular plane 
So this thing is of utmost importance that the lone pair of nitrogen here in pyridine is not involved in resonance because nitrogen is sp2 hybridized. So we don't count this lone pair for we don't count this lone pair as a pi electron. So when we see for pi electron after planarity then uh, the pi electrons here in pyridine is only 6 and not 8 and that 6 pi electron will fall in the category of 4n plus 2 and not in 4n. So pyridine is indeed aromatic. The same will be for furan. In furan if you see if you if uh, if you see that oxygen has two lone pair when oxygen makes two pi two sigma bonds and oxygen has two lone pair and if you count both the lone pair then furan will have six eight pi electrons four from the lone pair and four from the pi bond and if it has eight pi electrons then the furan will be have to be anti aromatic if you look at the structure of furan furan will have this kind of structure furan is having two pi bonds and those two pi bonds having sideways overlapping and the oxygen molecule oxygen atom has two lone pairs those two lone pairs will be like this in a perpendicular plane only one lone pair the orbital having one lone pair will be parallel to the rest of the four orbitals and this lone pair can resonate with rest of the p orbitals like this we can have a cyclic uninterrupted complete delocalization but this lone pair which is in a perpendicular plane will not participate in the cyclic uninterrupted, uninterrupted delocalization of electron because this oxygen is having a lone pair and that lone pair will be involved in resonance so that lone pair will not be counted for hybridization only the other lone pair will be counted for hybridization so the hybridization state of oxygen will be sp2 here if you see the hybridization state of this oxygen atom this will be sp2 because one of the lone pair will be counted for hybridization the other will not be counted for hybridization so the other orbital which is not uh, counted for hybridization will be in wh which is counted for hybridization will be in the perpendicular plane and the one which is not counted for hybridization will be in a pure p orbital that will be parallel to rest of the p orbitals so that electron can come in into that orbital and move out and hence it can move in a circle in a cyclic manner so that they can exist so that this molecule molecule can exhibit aromaticity so when we see aromaticity when we have to look for aromaticity we will not consider both the lone pair of oxygen for aromaticity so we will consider only one lone pair because two lone pair from a same atom cannot go for hybridization because for for resonance because for resonance the lone pair the uh, orbital containing that lone pair has to be parallel to rest of the orbitals and the two orbital of a same atom cannot be parallel to each other it has to be distributed in space so whenever you have a hetero atom like oxygen or sulfur having more than one lone pair so never ever both the lone pairs of that atom simultaneously go into resonance so here in case of furan we have to consider only one lone pair for aromaticity so only one lone pair will be counted as pi electron so altogether we have only six pi electron and indeed it satisfies Huckel rule that is 4n plus 2 number of pi electrons so furan is aromatic no doubt in this